welcome to the Midnight Musings podcast, we have an episode, an episode for you, because listen, I'll, I'll be quite upfront with you guys, we have not gone this intense before, all right? Usually, we kind of steer a little away from the politics stuff, but this time we're like hammering in it, so be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> but without further ado, I have a very special guest with me tonight. Please introduce yourself. Why are you here? What are you going to talk about? I am Kirsten. I'm a videographer based here in Las Vegas. And we're going to talk about how we are conservatives in an industry that's not so very conservative. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah, so like truth be told, guys, you may not know this. Yeah, but you know, I'm as your host here, you know, I'm a conservative and I hold those values and I, I love all my guests because I have so many guests. I mean, if you guys look through my galleries, there is a variety pack there. I, and I know that a lot of people have very different beliefs than me. And I'm sure you have run into this situation as well. But I feel like as adults, um, we do a pretty fair job of handling it. But sometimes that's not the same case. Sometimes it's not reciprocated. So, okay, tell me, your videographer, you know, first of all, I guess, tell me a little bit about your passion behind that. Um, and then kind of go into some of these weird experiences that you've had. Yeah, so I I do video. I shoot a lot of marketing content for brands, companies, um, it, just in the world of creatives in general. Like, right. I guess it's especially shown in the music industry. We see a lot of people whose beliefs are just in the opposite realm, right? right. Uh, which is, I guess that's that's just how it is, I suppose. But um, I am definitely one of the rare ones who believes in conservative beliefs, right? It's, it's, it feels weird, not gonna lie. It does feel weird just because people are already presuming I have a certain belief. Yeah, you're ethnic, you yeah. should be a Democrat. <laughs> right, exactly. And, and it's weird because even w without having those conversations with people, people say the weirdest things that you would then already know that they think. You believe that uh, that you could be a Democrat or you're a liberal or whatever. Right. Yeah. It's automatic for some reason. Right. It's, it's like it triggers it. So before we get too long into our awesome podcast, I would highly suggest if you guys are not really into politics that much and you want to jump to conclusions and you want to kill us on this podcast, that's okay. But I highly encourage you to um, take a political spectrum quiz. Um, I took one, and it's basically places you into these things called quadrants, political quadrants. So believe it or not, it's not just left or right. It's just a whole huge, you know, variety of people's beliefs. And it's really hard to nail down what you believe and summarize it. And I don't think it's a perfect system, you know, but again, it's just another fun quiz thing. Um, and I took one. And I am, I can't really remember too much, but I'm a lot closer to the middle than I thought. You know, middle ground, a more middle ground. And I can't remember if I'm, um, you know, obviously I'm middle ground, but on the right side a little bit. Um, and I can't remember if I'm more on the authority side or more on the libertarian side. But yeah, but I'm, I'm very close to the middle. So I was, I was really surprised because now if you ask anyone, and I explain my beliefs, it's like, oh, you're a radical right guy. <laughs> so have you ever taken one of those? I mean, I, I have not taken those. Now that you mentioned it, I should take one. It's the I, new horoscope. You got to okay. do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and everyone's into those. Right. Um, but I've always thought that, just because I heard this from somewhere, that there are four parties. It's usually the, the, uh, the two ends are the far left and right. Yeah. And then you've got the middle ones that are not too left-leaning, but you're definitely more on the left side. Right. And then the other one's not too far right-leaning, but still you're more on the right side. So I, I, I've i always considered myself as someone who was some, uh, falls somewhere in the middle, but definitely more right-leaning. Yeah. Because uh, I know I'm not far right. I Especially <laughs> these days, though, <laughs> sometimes it makes me wonder if I am far right just because of everything that happens. Like, let me just, uh, this right, is my right, real right. character. This is my final form. Like. <laughs> Although I, I know I'm not far right, but just, just with the things going on politically, it makes me sometimes feel like I'm becoming more far right. Right? It's like, okay, you, if you paint me as this, like, intense 
hater of people i'm like right. i don't know maybe i am just because we don't hold the same beliefs <laughs> right yeah okay so you know i'm in the kind of like creative world as well like mm-hmm. uh, producing and stuff and and i see exactly what you're talking about about mm-hmm. people you know not sharing those beliefs i mean have you ever had a situation where you know you're just kind of carrying on and living your day to day and then someone just kind of goes after you for that or how is that so i had oh my gosh this takes me back to the shutdown okay when things were hot on the internet <laughs> right yeah covid covid oh, back gosh to- i wasn't supposed to say that on a- now i got to go back and i got to censor that you know the thing yeah <laughs> so back uh back in 2020 when yeah. pe- most people weren't doing anything most yeah. people were on the internet getting involved in all these political arguments right, right? Well, everyone was all of a sudden an expert in politics. <laughs> right. I actually have had people remove me from social media. And it wasn't even because I was putting anything on the internet that was very conservative leaning. I was just questioning a lot of the other side. Right. But that automatically painted a picture on me, I guess, that I am... Um, oh, I don't know. People might have called me racist. I I, I forgot. I, I right. disregarded a lot of what people have like, said at this point because I mean I know who I am and right. I know what I'm not and what I am. So I had people. Yeah, I had a couple of friends that I never thought would remove me. Remove me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, I've I had the same, you know, um, circumstance. And it's mm-hmm. funny. It's like, like, what's the Filipino version of an Uncle Tom? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's right. like they really like paint you as like, you know, these you hate your own people and this right. kind of stuff. It's like, um, I, I'm not just like part of like some domino thing. Like, right. I don't have to follow what other Hispanics yeah, follow, believe exactly. it or not. I mean, do all white people believe the exact same thing? Absolutely not. Right. So why do you assume that certain you know, uh, ethnic groups have to believe it. Is it because exactly. you've been trying to buy them out and right. buy out their votes? So you assume, well, we gave you, uh, you know, enough of this of so compensation. Like, like, what? What are you talking about? I think the truth is, for the most part, I mean, even with me, e- even if I somewhat do my own research, yeah. and, and for anyone that does their own research, I think for the most part, we really don't know as much as we should, mm-hmm. and which is okay. Um, I think politics isn't really something that we should be focused on 100%, right? Right. We have to live our daily lives. But because of around that time when people didn't have much to do, (laughs) uh, people just kind of get stuck on like the most reachable resources, right? Like the news, which is, as you know, fake news. (laughs) There's a lot of fake things on the internet. And that's actually how I also became a Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to not like Trump. Yeah, same. Only because I subscribed to the belief that most people were telling me to subscribe on. Right. Like my, uh, I have people from the family, I won't mention who, but I... I it's it going to diss right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I definitely have family members who, before I followed Trump, um, they were just saying what they thought just from, and I, I really believe that this is just from the news or just the, the articles that they'd find on the internet, you know, anything that's very, very easily accessed and, right. and provided to the public. Um, they would lean on those because, oh, it's the news. Why would they lie? It, it was always that. Right. Why would they put something that's false there? But then when I decided to look up everything that they've been saying, because I think there was a time where they said, uh, oh, Trump said something about the Filipinos. I just anything that, to trigger off any group, right? right? And you're right. like, okay, and let's I, see then. Right. Square I, up. Let's I, see I, Trump. I, right, exactly. <laughs> but I, luckily, I wasn't really that triggered. I wanted to research for yeah. my just for my own information, right. and I I remember looking up on the internet, and I I cited ten things that this article listed. Oh, so you that actually was, did your research. Oh, I did. Research. I did. That's I, awesome. I looked up every video where he said something wrong or so they claim right that he said this and it was really racist he said he said this and it was really sexist and so when i went on the internet which is it's really not hard to do to cite 
these things, right? It's yeah. really not hard to do. You've got YouTube. You've got as long as you make sure that you watch the full version, because it's me as a videographer. I know how to yeah. skew things. Not that I do that, but it's it's really easy to manipulate the narrative. It's like having the Infinity Gauntlet. Like there's a lot of things that you can tweak on there. Oh, I love helping people. I would never hate them, and then. Right. I hate sure. people. <laughs> Rearrange those words. Right. Exactly. And then all of a sudden you're using the same exact footage, but now it's become it's a totally different narrative. So that's what I did. I researched it. I made sure I watch the long versions, if not even the full versions, just to really pick up what they meant when they they claimed that he said these nasty things. Right. And there was absolutely zero. Zero that I got. That is crazy. And it was mind blowing because it made me feel sick that I have allowed people, other people's um, influences, to make me believe a certain thing that yeah. wasn't even true. And it sucks because for someone like him to hold that position, yeah. I feel like unpaid he's just being, position right, too. You know, he's just being attacked left and right by people who are the real. I think they're the real enemies. Right. And, you know, the thing is really interesting is, you know, I believe everyone is entitled to dislike someone. You can dislike mm -hmm. someone. And you know what? To be honest, you don't even have to necessarily have a reason. You want to dislike mm -hmm. someone just because you don't like their face? Cool. It's America. But when you accuse someone of certain crimes right. and you want punishment for those crimes and you're like, yeah, let's uh, take half a billion dollars away from him just because we don't like him. I'm like, hold on a second what was the reason you right. know like why do you want to you know like corrupt the guy because let's be honest like if anyone you know grew up in the early 2000s you know that trump was hyped up like mm -hmm. everyone in like in the rap industry they're like yeah i'm getting rich like trump and all right. that stuff they were all repping him right. trump was all over wwe which i mm -hmm. loved you know i would I see him freaking days, yeah. choke slam people and i was like oh my <laughs> gosh this rich guy just choke slam someone and it was the funnest thing ever mm -hmm. and like I feel like the net effect of Trump in the early 2000s was like, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a right. cool, rich guy. Like, you know, yeah. read his real estate book and stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like the same people that were like his friends, celebrity friends right. are like, well, we hate the guy, dude. We don't want anything to do with him. Like, right. Why? Just the minute he started <laughs> running for president, yeah. uh, people definitely changed the way they treated him, which is just I don't know. It's it's weird. And Fake I, I, friends, y'all. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and I, I feel like, I, I don't know, have you ever had like an altercation where someone just would not shut up about their beliefs and you're like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling a little oppressed right here. Yeah, right. spill it. Uh, and honestly, a lot of those conversations were over the internet because I... Digital age. Yeah, yeah digital yeah. age, right? All these Facebook debates. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of those conversations happened on the internet and it just, I like a good debate. I really do. Yeah. But I want solid uh, evidence of things. I really want solid evidence because otherwise the conversation's just not valuable to me. Right. And a lot of times I cite these evidences and I, people just get too emotional and lose it just because no matter what, I mean, I because I can be convinced otherwise. Yeah. But just give me proof. Give me proof to believe that... He is a fraud. Right. But so far, it's just always been debunked. <laughs> that you just can't pick anyone else to hate on. And it's funny because, right. like, you know, even when he's out of office, it's just like, hey, remember what he did? Remember what he said? I'm like, well, yeah, what about you talk about, like, the, the current people in office right, right now and what right. they're doing and what they're kind of, like, failing to do? Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, can, you, can we change the subject here? Like, exactly. If you are so much better off without him why can't you stop talking about him 24 right. 7 like because right. he gets your ratings up i don't know <laughs> yeah that and i find it i found it ridiculous overall that around his time yeah um that we were just talking about the wrong things people were so concerned about the things that were not really an issue so what do you feel is like an issue like what's like a pain point for you that you're like yeah i'm like 100 percent behind trump on this and I guess maybe an unpopular opinion Ooh. nowadays. Ooh. The number one thing that I definitely back Trump up on. Dun, dun, is dun. The, <laughs> the border. Ooh, the border. Yeah. Sorry to say, I mean, even me myself, I'm an immigrant, 
but we did it the right way. And yeah. there's a right way to go about things. I think it's a slap on our faces when people have this, um, you know, not, I'm not, not going to say that I'm not empathetic towards the people who are trying to move here because sure. everyone who's trying to move here obviously is trying to have a better life. And you assume they have a valid reason. It's right. like no one just gets up out of their home and just be like, all right, I'm leaving. Exactly, yeah. right? Like that's a big move to come to the United States. But to go about it the wrong way and to know that there are people who did it right. Because I, it's a very lengthy process. Oh yeah, but we did it. It it's it was very achievable. Th- thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was very achievable. I know many people that did it that way. Also, I just disagree with people, the people that think that we should just have n- no borders. Right. I think that's very wrong. It defeats the whole purpose of having a country. And and it's like, well, why would you have government then? It's just kind of like just to say, oh, yeah, that it's geographical wrong. area is the U.S., but right. like there's no laws within it. Right. And I think it goes a little further than just like, hey, you made it in the U.S., but it's not like you're just like letting them make it in the U.S. Right. Now you are giving them tons of aid like there have been cited you know circumstances videos proof like you guys don't believe us like Mm -hmm. look it up where uh people that have arrived here illegally are receiving free apartments right they're literally like and and the interview was asking the guy in spanish it's like you know hey how long have you been living here he's like oh i've been living here for seven months do you have to pay for that apartment there no i get it for free no i get food stamps no i get this and then there's like homeless veteran there that gave who knows how many years to the country and he's suffering from ptsd and he's out there on the street living on the the same street yeah and i'm like yeah see that's what really irritates me we are really putting our concerns on the wrong things and it's it's a waste of taxpayers money yeah we don't have unlimited money guys i don't know if y'all think like there's like i guess blame i guess the school system to begin with because they're like yeah you know technically you can keep printing money that's cool but like that lowers the value of your money and that's why Mm -hmm. your money doesn't get as far so if you are enjoying this podcast so far and you like the spiciness that we're talking about i guarantee you it's probably gonna get even spicier so uh, make sure that you continue watching we're gonna take a brief commercial break and we'll be right back And we are back already. So um, we talked a little bit about border stuff, about um, being a creative and having to deal with, you know, the majority of your industry not uh, believing the same things you do politically. Um, But what about some fringe beliefs, right? Because I know that (laughs) even though we both establish we are kind of more middle centralist people with, you know, right leaning values, we're not necessarily far right Nazis, as you people may accuse us of. Um, but yeah, but what are some things that, you know, I think if like if a, if a Democrat or a socialist or whatever they listen to, they think that is completely insane. That the election was rigged. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, this one's tough. It's such a hard subject, but I do believe that. Yeah. Um, I really think Trump had or has actually a great, great and big following. And if anything, it might have even gotten stronger this year. Oh, totally, yeah. Right? Um, I, it's just very questionable uh, to, if, if you look back at what happened, there were so many things that were just questionable. Why wasn't this working? Why was this delayed? Um, what about this proof here where some, because it, people post on social media, why, why right. are people disregarding these evidences and not investigating it to see what happened there? But, and it's parties that don't necessarily have a lot of investment mm-hmm. in politics. Like it's just like some random dude on TikTok and he's like, oh my gosh, I just saw this person load a whole bunch of ballots and like they're all, you know, driving out in the middle of nowhere and, you know, and they're dumping them into this polling station. I'm like, okay, so just so you guys know, that guy is not a paid Trump supporter or anything. He's a random guy. He's probably not even that political, but he knows, you know, the election is happening and he thinks it's super sketch that you're getting a whole bunch of votes delivered, you know, in the middle of the night. People are doing that out of the goodness of their hurt because right? if you like let's say you did not fall into any political party yeah. and you saw something and you felt it was wrong regardless of 
who that would have been for or not, would you do the same thing? I think for the most part, people would. Yeah, I mean, if I saw some dude like desperately doing a whole bunch of fake Trump votes, right. I would be the first person to call him out. I'm like, dude, you're out here, you know, being patriotic or whatever, and you're literally committing treason by faking an election. Like, no, you got to give it up, dude. Like, we're not going to win that way. Yeah. But it's like, people don't seem to see it that way. Right. And it's, so here's, here's a weird thing too, because I've seen a lot of polls where um, they question whether or not people believe that the election could have been rigged. Mm -hmm. And if you look at those polls, majority of people actually say yes. Like they confess that yeah, not right. necessarily the entire thing was a fraud. I don't think anyone believes that start to finish. I'm sure there were some good votes rallied up and counted towards Trump, but like that there was some type of interference involved. I don't remember what the stats are mm -hmm. and I'm not going to be a fake person like a democrat and like make up stats but um i do believe the majority when it came to like yes no or maybe the majority said yes right and not only that to add to that knowing you as yeah. someone who's in the marketing world you look at you look up data that's not skewed so you're not yeah. looking at data from sources that are obviously conservative leaning i know right. you're looking up data from neutral resources exactly you know so. looking at data point number one number two number mm -hmm. three and like did they exclude counties right. or because that's the other thing too like people could skew and this is getting a little nerdy for y'all i know but like there's so many ways that you can skew data like you could say like oh yeah nationwide people agree on this issue and like you're only asking like three states from like three different parts and technically you could say nationwide because it's on different parts of the nation like that's right. not really nationwide though right so i mean that is that is crazy i mean so election wise i mean what do you think like has been like the most grievous thing that people have done and then you're like okay like how how can we fix this i guess well you know that that's tough just because we what we've seen and i i know most might think that i'm just saying this because i disagree on the results yeah it's not so much that i disagree on the results even though i i really do disagree about yeah. what happened um it's about how things were done i feel like it was a disservice to everyone yeah um on how things were being operated those days and to add to that January 6th. Oh my they gosh. They painted such yes. a bad picture on him. And anyone with anyone who just listens to things properly and neutrally would know that he did not cause it, any of those. You mean you're telling me that he didn't wage war on his own country? Oh my gosh, of course not. <laughs> yeah. And I, there's people I think that just genuinely believe that. Right. And like, I, I feel bad people. for them. I really feel bad for them. Right. Like, you are just not good in the head. I'm sorry to tell you. Right. Like, how are you reading into this? Like, right. and I get like, so, you know, celebrities and, and political figures and stuff, people talk in double speak all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if, you know, for example, this is controversy, but it's fairly recent, right? You know, people like P. Diddy and all this kind of stuff, right? You know, they'll they'll say double speak. You know, like for example, when someone uh, that's in the industry, they will say peaks or, or whatever. Um, unfortunately, a lot of times they are referencing like trafficking, like mm -hmm. buying out people and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, but there was no double speak in Trump's thing. Okay, right. he wasn't like code 57 that means like let's you know everyone rage and like not right. all conservatives have this like secret language guys like trust me like we were watching it as well and he's literally like yo go home guys like we're right, gonna be exactly. safe that's it i think the anti-trump people at that time just wanted to monopolize on the fact that uh they were pushing their own narrative and maybe it was to the point where even they themselves believe in, believe in their own lies because that's a the thing there are people right. who lie so much that to the point where they believe so much in their own lies and it's it's such a ridiculous thing but that happens and i think that day yeah. that day and i listened to his his speech i listened yeah. to the whole thing i listened to it a few times cuz i really wanted to pick out what the left was talking about and right. there was just nothing zero again proven over time and time he did not say anything to make those 
accusations true. And you know, so here's a question too. So like if you were in your professional life or just in your personal life were to run into a person that has those type of beliefs that like, hey, I think Trump was the insurrectionist or whatever, like, mm -hmm. would you in your daily life like treat them differently? No, right? I, right. I have many friends who uh, believe the opposite and they're very open about their beliefs. Yeah. I, I treat them the same way. Yeah, like, you just live life, right? right exactly. You know, and I think that's all we can ask for, you know. So if you're a hater listening, like, cool, like, hate on it. I don't care, you know, like, trust me, this is not a multi-million dollar podcast, okay? We're just here to express thoughts, but, like, please, like, be open to discourse and be open mm -hmm. to understanding the other side and be open to, I don't know, living in freaking society because right. we have to live with each other. Like, I don't understand, like, what your uh, agenda is. Like, are you trying to just exterminate everyone that has conservative values? I mean, it kind of looks that way. Right. But I really don't think the other party, uh, you know, the conservative party would ever be that way. Like, I I've never once, like... Believe it or not, I never once thought in my life, like, yeah, I just want to exterminate all people that have different beliefs as me. Right. Like, I don't get it. But on the left, like, that's exactly what it sounds like. I right. see it in comments it feels all the that time. Way all the time. Anytime there's a conversation that's about to happen, it always feels that way. And it's sad because I am a big proponent to just having an open conversation, having a good debate, yeah. prove me otherwise. But so far with anyone who's engaged in these conversations it's always been a i'm gonna block you from now on not for me but them blocking me and i've had that situation too where it's like i see a lot of talent in people too mm -hmm. you know I, I deal with like actors and models and things like that and i'm like okay cool you have really great talent i would love to work with you on another project i know they have completely different beliefs as me cool mm -hmm. you want to follow me cool follow me but Every once in a while, I'm going to post something that's my beliefs and I'm not going to shy away from it. And I've had right. people to where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep that person in my back pocket. I think they have a lot of talent. I respect them regardless of their beliefs. And I want to work with them in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, and then at some time passes, I post things that I like that are conservative and uh, they're no longer there. They right. blocked me. I'm like, <laughs> you're lost, dude or girl. Like, you know, you want to be a bigot using your own language. Right. Like, you know, there's going to be consequences to it. And... You know, I may not be the most connected person in Vegas, but I will definitely blacklist you from anyone that I'm associated with and right. just let them know, hey, um, don't work with that person. You know, they right. really it's hate any other like, beliefs. Yeah, right. it's I don't know. It, it's really sad and weird. Um, but going back, I want to go to like the core because mm -hmm. I think people need to understand, you know, like, first of all, what even is conservative? What does that right. mean? Because I feel like it has an ugly name. Like, mm -hmm. I feel that like when you break down languages, mm -hmm. like the word progressive sounds cooler, I guess. You know, it right. sounds like progress, right? right. Everyone wants right. progress. Like, so like the wordsmithing is pretty cool on it, but hey, whatever. I see, I can give credit where credit is due. But like, I guess why at the core of it, why are you a conservative? Is it like, do you have like, like religious values for it? Or like, like what are some things that you can piece together like mm -hmm. in your identity? Like, right. why is that? Um, so... I've thought about this many times just because in language, even these words have had a, had a different meaning. Before. Sure, yeah. And I guess over the years, language evolves. Yeah. Um, back in the day, cons conservatives were the good people. Mm. These days, conservatives are the bad people. Right. I have taken this personality test where I actually, belief-wise, I am considered liberal. Hmm. But I hold conservative beliefs. Interesting. Yeah, there's a, a this amazing personality test that Jordan Peterson made. Oh, totally, okay, yeah. I'm a big Jordan Peterson fan. Shout out Jordan Peterson, yeah. Shout out to Jordan Peterson. So I think it's called understandmyself.org uh, or something like that. You yeah. look for it on the internet. Okay. I think it's only $10, $12. Super worth it. It's, okay. I'm not necessarily all about personality tests. Except for this one. Okay. Just because this is measuring your personality, which is connected to your beliefs. Right. Um, it doesn't put you in a box unlike a lot of other personality tests, mm. which is what I like. Because you can measure personality. You can't necessarily put it in a category. Right. If that makes sense. And, you know, and, and personality is allowed to ebb and flow and exactly. change. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you've taken a test and you're like, oh, I'm a hard set Democrat and you took a test like 10 years ago... Well, 
maybe reassess yourself and reassess your situations, you may believe things a little differently, exactly. you know? So, yeah. so how this personality test helped me kind of figure out where I fall into in that belief system is more um, mindset wise. I'm a liberal just because mm. I'm very open. I, I mean, I'm into music. I'm into art. Right. Yeah. Music creative arts. They're called right. liberal arts for a reason exactly. because they allow you to liberate your mind. Mm -hmm. So, so in that sense, I am very open minded, labeled liberal, but I have conservative beliefs, especially when it comes to politics. Okay. Only because of the things I believe in, for example, oh my gosh, I could cite so many, but just as an example, I mean, I think religion is very important. Yeah, for sure. I found it weird when I first moved to the States. This was, I moved to the States 10 years ago, and this was when Barack Obama was still a president. Okay. And I remember when I had my second job ever, and I, I think I was trying to greet Merry Christmas to a customer. Okay. And they, my boss immediately came up to me, ran up to me and said, I am not allowed to say that. I can say happy holidays. But yeah. I'm not allowed to say Merry Christmas. And that was, that was hurtful. Were you in hospitality? Or was uh, no, this was uh, at an electronics store. Oh, okay. I for Best Buy. Really? Electronics. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa, Best yeah. Buy. Yeah. Going, Best Buy scaring religion away 10 right? years ago. Oh, yeah. So I found it so weird and I didn't expect that at all just because to say Merry Christmas to anyone is... Coming from a good place. Yeah, it's like you, you know, someone sneezes, you say, bless you. Like, right. I'm literally trying to give you good energy. Right. Like, here's my good energy. Right. Yeah, it's a little different than your energy, but here's my good energy. It's like, yeah. no, you can't do that. Exactly. And coming from the Philippines, um, I mean, majority of Filipinos are Catholics, but we have a lot of other religions there. And I think the second biggest religion, uh, apart from a certain type of Christian, is, are, is the... Um, the world of Islam. Oh, okay. Yeah, Interesting. A, there yeah. are a lot of Muslims, especially in the area that I lived in. And yeah. anytime they greeted me, anything that's uh, within their world or within their, oh, sorry, within their Muslim type of belief, right. um, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's not like they were trying to cancel me. W whatever they're greeting me was always coming from a good place. Yeah, you know, I feel the same way. And, you know, shout out to a lot of um, the uh, Islamic practitioners that are currently, I don't remember, I think it's Ramadan, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I, that's currently like in effect right now to where they have to have certain... Uh, times during their day and their work day that they can't work and they have to worship during those times like as someone that's an entrepreneur and i do this my whole life that is extremely hard oh, yeah. to block away time so like kudos to you guys you know there's a lot of love that's going out there and i think when people think conservatives they're like you have to be christian you have to be that no you don't you don't even have to be christian at all you, you just you know the whole concept of conservative means I want to conserve certain values that I believe are right values, mm -hmm. you know, and right as in a sense that that's like inherently right. And I think that's the main thing that people have to understand that as conservatives, you do believe, you know, that correct me if I'm wrong, you do believe there's an absolute right and an absolute wrong. Right. Like, and, and some people are really shy to draw the line where, and mm -hmm. I don't think it's anyone's place, you know, to say like, oh, this is the line that everyone should follow. Right. But that's what... At the core conservatives belief right there's this certain line mm -hmm. cool i want to keep beliefs and political practices and laws that somehow stick within that current line right okay it doesn't mean red doesn't mean blue right. like that's that's all it means it just so happens that the party that evolved over time ended up being the republican party okay it could have been the purple party whatever party it doesn't doesn't matter i really do not care i'll be honest i do not care for the current gop party um, I think it's very outdated. I think there's a lot of fakes in there. There's a lot of people that are in it just for the money. And I get it. It's just like another job, right? You're just in something for the money. Um, I would much rather have a conservative party that actually believes conservative values. Right. You know? Exactly. And it's just, to me, to simplify things, it's just having orderliness. Yeah. I want orderliness. Um, if you look at what's happened lately, it's the complete opposite of that. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? And I'll say this too. I would rather have a Democratic Party that actually believes in democracy mm -hmm. because the other spectrum of that is communism. And guess what? The United States has never been a communist country. And communism is uh, directly in 
um, antagonizes against religion because mm-hmm. it is the absence of religion and the complete overrun of the, the of the government. Right. And so when people say, you know, I'm a Democrat, I have these values, but they don't understand that those values are actually communist and socialist values they're not democratic values so you know when someone says i'm a democrat i'm like are you do you purely believe that you have the right of choosing and of votes because democracy has some really great things but Mm -hmm. modern democrats and modern democratic beliefs is is honestly it's a lot of socialist communist Mm -hmm. atheist values you know and i have a lot of atheist friends and and that's cool but like don't completely remove everyone's right to have conservative values and don't stigmatize them for it you know like if i um feel that i don't want to bake a cake for you or something because i have to draw some type of thing or i have to you know bake something that's against something i don't want to celebrate that was like a very famous case where the small business owner didn't want to bake a cake um for this gay couple and like they were like demonized i'm like you couldn't find someone else that wants to do it? I don't right. get it. Yeah, it's it's really sad what's um I, I feel like back in the spectrum of how many how many ever parties there really exist. I mean I know right. there's two, but we could like you said, yeah, there's a ton there's of them. There's a ton of them. I think the far left and right have gone further left and right than ever. Mm. Um and I know that's been said before, but it's it's crazy just because I even with a couple of conversations that I've, I've had with people I, who I know that are uh, more on the left side, yeah. more left leaning, they seem to be more far left now than ever. Really? Yeah, it's and I'm trying to have these open conversations with them because again, I want these conversations to happen because you can prove me otherwise because I could be wrong. I yeah. that, That's my liberal side talking. Yeah. That's not uh, being conservative. It's literally my liberal mindset, my liberal, uh, the belief of being a liberal, uh, just being open-minded that I want to be proven otherwise. I'm always open yeah. to be proven otherwise. I just haven't been proven otherwise. And, you know, I think at the core of it, that's it. We want to be heard. Everyone wants to be heard. So let's have a mutual discourse. Let's not try to censor each other. Censoring is such a big thing. And I think we'll we'll have to leave that for another episode. But I think, you know, being in marketing and stuff, you know, and and being also involved in like videography, it's like, I don't know, it it must feel kind of frustrating if you've ever seen your work just been heavily redacted and covered up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... I don't know. Or were we trying to like, you know, create something like, or, or was our whole purpose to try to like manipulate? I right, don't understand. Exactly. Well, so, it doesn't help the social platforms are yeah. more uh, left-sided. And I hate <laughs> that like social media has become like each platform has become politicized and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, if you like TikTok, you're a communist. Like, no, it's a, I genuinely like it as a platform. It's a right. really good platform. And right. if you're a conservative, you're listening to that, you're absolutely wrong. And I'll tell you why. Actually, I spoke uh, very extensively on it in, in my private uh, broadcast or whatever, but I won't get into it now. But yeah. TikTok, if I think if conservatives want to win the election, they got to keep TikTok. I, I swear, if you guys on the GOP side, if you remove TikTok, all of Gen Z and millennials will absolutely hate you, even those that are thinking about going to your side, and then they'll see you as fascist, and then you will not get the W. So, right. I don't know. That's it, guys. Uh, this has been great. Thank you, Kirsten, for uh, jumping on. Looking forward to doing this again. For sure. And uh, yeah, peace.